Testing. One, two, three. Do I have a voice? <laughs> you can hear, we can hear oh you. Oh my gosh. What the, oh my goodness. Everything almost collapsed. Everything was almost terrible, but nope, we're good. <laughs> we're good. All right. I, uh, I think somehow my, um, <laughs> yeah. So my, uh, webcam for some reason decided it wanted to control my mic there for a second. And, uh, <laughs> I just had to tell it, stop that. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll be up and running in just a moment, guys. Thanks for your patience. I just need one extra second. Okay, we're live. My microphone is also in the wrong position. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All the things. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the official Rockfish Games stream. I am your host and your guide, Eric Schrader, your community ambassador. Oh my gosh, it wouldn't be a stream without a technical difficulty. Am I right? Goodness gravy. But I am joined by Gary, our now full-time community manager. Oh my gosh, what? Yay. Hello, Gary. Hello, Gary. Hello. Oh my gosh, <laughs> lovely to have you per usual. We're gonna be uh, diving into some rich gameplay experiences uh, into our nightmare gameplay session. In this process, we will be talking about little snippets and details of development when they show up and also having delightful discussion with all of you present, uh, both in the Twitch and the YouTube chats. We are not streaming to the Steam page today. We actually have a German Games interview with Michael going on over there, and it's just kind of uh, going through those motions. So if you're ever interested in listening to that, uh, preferably after the stream is done, you can have a listen on that front. Uh, otherwise, we are going to be entertaining you, uh, having some delightful little gameplay experiences, and then also highlighting your screenshots at the end. Neat. If I can sneak in a surprise, I'm gonna do it. But uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what the we'll see what the the outlook brings. So it'll be fine and dandy, I'm sure. All right, so let's go ahead and crack on into this. We're gonna continue where we left off in our nightmare new file. Um, man, I'm seeing a lot of people just saying hello and hi and welcome. Goodness, sincerely, it's it's wonderful. You guys just piling on in here. So I mean, shoot, let's do a little roll call here. This isn't very common, but you know, I, I'm appreciating you. So let me do that and call you out by name. We got uh, DD King and Geekbyte, of course, Spoot Knight, Flory, Jorgen Uyansu, RGB Toaster. We've got Super Scrapper. We got Dumper in our W. We got Nightbot that doesn't count. We have <laughs> Stinky Goat. And uh, yeah, we got some lively chatters over on Twitch. And uh, don't, don't let that think that I am optimizing Twitch. No, nay, I say to thee, over on YouTube, we've got the, the delightful, the ever-present Slurene Tetson. We have Bearded Frog, and man, your beard is looking superb today, if I may say so. We've got uh, Wizard Jerry, and we got Dominic Troy, as well as, um, I thought I saw another one, maybe not yet. Oh, Species 1571, all right, good, good. Oh my gosh, a, a number of characters all coming out of the woodworks. It's such a delight, such a treat to have you all here. Whether you are first time visiting or everyone that I listed, I'm pretty sure you've all been in the streams before. It's totally great. We're gonna have a good time today. I am confident of that. Uh, first, what I wanna do, I wanna finish up this area. Um, Cause I think I, oh, don't need to load again. Um, I was trying to like complete everything and I have this battery. Uh, 
I can't remember if I've been up there before. Uh, I just need to find like a battery socket, I think. And then like, I think I have everything in this area. I'm not sure. I'm gonna give it like a couple minutes. I'm gonna see if I can find it. Um, and if it takes me too long, then uh, I'll give up. <laughs> it will keep going. Um, pretty sure I've already exhausted like all the points of interest though. So um, I can't remember if I've actually been up here. I think I went to the other one on the other side and I went around. There's a hidden crate here too. Oh my gosh, goodness gravy. All right, so maybe there's a little bit more to do. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I wanna really get the generator uh, taken care of as well. Oh my gosh, these aren't, these aren't too bad at all. Um, we've leveled up a bit. We got to level 13 in the last stream. Um, let's see. Goodness, we have a full inventory of things to go through. Wow, that's right, because we were just like plowing through and collecting all the things. The beam laser might not be a bad idea to replace the, uh, no, not the auto cannon. That's a good auto cannon. Whoo, don't want to replace that at all. Um, let's see. Thermo gun could be, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna change things up. We're gonna do a thermo gun in place of the Jaeger. I do like that Jaeger a lot. Um, but uh, this is also our speedy build. I think we can get away with this. Just having faster recharge delay and shutdown duration I think is gonna be beneficial. The precision instead of firepower isn't so bad. Pre precision. <laughs> Goodness. Um, and then we can just, uh, we're just gonna hoard the rest of that. All right, I really wanna figure out where these batteries go. I might check on the other side first. Well, this is closer. I'll just check up here. Yeah, whenever trying to find uh, sites, it's always important. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's here. Oh, I'm so glad that's easy. Oh gosh, I didn't want to spend a lot of time in here because we've already done a lot and I couldn't remember all the ones I've done. Okay, so, but yeah, for all of these little um, locations, uh, generally speaking, we provide a lot of points of interest to kind of draw your attention over like lights and structures and uh, uh, glowy bits just so that you can hopefully find those secrets a little bit more easily. And I also wanna say this, um, you know, there's been some interesting feedback on the front of, well, collecting secrets. And internally the team's kind of been, you know, talking about that going, eh, do we feel good about where it's at? And slowly but surely, I think we're all kind of deciding we actually wanna maybe do something. Maybe, maybe like, we're working on some concepts right now. Let me, let me put it that way. Um, so we might um, go into this whole aspect of searching for secrets. Um, you know, Kala does give you the 100% completion perk once you unlock that, which is a huge help, um, but is it enough? We're asking that question internally based on your guys' feedback. Um, we still don't necessarily think that it's uh, bad. Some of you guys certainly do. Uh, and you know, that's okay, your opinions are fine. But uh, yeah, we uh, we may we might do something about that in the future. We might revisit it a little bit. So okay, cool. Now we are in a zip on out of here. I didn't 100% complete that location, so I'm just not gonna worry about it. Um, what I want to do is I want to get some levels. I want to do some things. Let's see. We've got the high risk area with double bosses at level 11. We got the high risk area level 10, mines on death. We could do a level 10, right? Right? <laughs> For level 13? Easy, you got this. Yeah, I was like, goodness. We're like, the mid game, uh, it can sometimes be the greatest challenge overall. And because we're playing on a Nightmare difficulty, it, it just increases that uh, by a bit. Uh, for those who don't know, the, the Nightmare difficulty actually increases the uh, the values of your opponents and the, the challenges thereof. Um, it's a pretty strong jump from very hard up to Nightmare. Um, so like as a comparison point, if you start from normal, um, getting to very hard, I think it's approximately like a, a two times jump. Whereas going from very hard to nightmare is like a three times jump. Something like that. I'd have to pull up the official stats, but it's, it's large is my point. It's large. So uh, yeah, 
for those of you who uh, are interested in sort of like new game plus, uh, which we have never had in our plans, um, I do encourage you to try a new save on Nightmare Difficulty after you complete the game. I've been having a lot more fun with this than I actually thought I was going to. I thought it was just going to be hitting uh, my head up against the walls where it's like, I can't do anything. This is frustrating. This has been a lot of fun. This has been pretty enjoyable with you guys. And um, I mean, I have evidence of this through every single stream since the 1.0 release where you can see all of the things that I've done in these streams. So uh, yeah, it's good. I don't think we're going to get a lot of experience here. Um, now I'm thinking about it. Because <clears throat> these level nines, for example, they will not give us any experience at all since they are four level difference from us. So this might just be a needless challenge. It's going to be hard to do, but in little gains. At the very least, we'll get a catalyst group, right? So I suppose there's that. This level 10 should give us a little bit of experience. But again, that implies we don't die. <laughs> so we'll see how things go. I just want to unlock some more stuff, you know? Such is the way of progression. Oh, goodness, that was real bad. Okay, all right, okay. I don't even care this isn't doing a lot of damage. That's right. Just nip that in the bud. Another madcap, that should be enough. All those mines. You know, normally I feel like um, this particular bonus, the tag mines at 1500 meters, I feel like it's not really that good of a bonus. But I have to admit, right now, especially for the stream, I am loving having that added <laughs> visibility of mines. <laughs> Woo. Oh my goodness. I also see a couple more individuals sneaking in the chat. Welcome, welcome. I see Alathaniel. Alathaniel. Um, uh, I see uh, T3Cube. Um, I'm sure there's a couple more. Don't be shy, join the chat. For anybody who is unfamiliar with the formula we got going here, Hi, hello, I'm Eric. I'm the community ambassador on the uh, Rockfish Games team, the creators of Everspace 1 and 2. And uh, I also have done a healthy bit of development, so I know things. And we'd like to help answer any clarifying questions, details, que uh, concerns. I love lore. It's just meant to be like an open community stream where we can have an open discussion. Sometimes there's bugs. Sometimes there's reveals. Should be a good time. Just a little more. Oh! That was a bit closer than I wanted it to be. Okay, I think our next um, target's the bomber. We got. We got to stop this. That was not the right button. There we go. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, the fact that we are in an area that is three levels lower than us, and we are arguably stretched, stretching ourselves out. Like this, this really does show like the, the power of the nightmare gameplay experience in the mid game. Where a lot can honestly go wrong in a split second which I hopefully do not want to provide an example of here. Okay. Ooh, a Ravager. Oh, gosh. All right. Two armor drones. You're close enough. Three. Three armor drones. Look at this nonsense. My goodness. All right, I'm pretty sure I can just take out the scout instead of the Ravager to hit our boss spawn. Yeah, there we go. Just didn't want to deal with the, the Ravager. 
We'll also just get away from all those mines because, yeah, hopefully that's for obvious reasons. All right. Ouch! What we really ought to do is use our ultimate! Oh my gosh! You feeling okay? I just <laughs> well played, sir. Well played. This isn't gonna be enough! Oh, goodness! I was hoping that would be a little bit more in my favor. Or maybe I can, uh, kill two birds with one stone? Throw him into it? No, I don't think I hit him. Oh, no. Oh, this is gonna be pain. Alright! Ooh, too hot, too hot! We are so close to dying. All right, here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on! Woo! That was way closer than I would like it to be for being so underleveled. And oh my gosh, you know what? I totally should have went to a shop before doing this, but here we are. So let's go ahead and collect what we can and scrap the other stuff. Uh, coil gun, rail gun, scatter gun. I do like that scatter gun though. Let's be, let's be realistic. That coil gun's also lovely. That high kinetic DPS bound to a 5% chance to disable the target's shield for two seconds. Ooh. I like that. I like that. It still makes me wonder if I should be replacing the powerful autocannon because that is good. Ooh, let's get, let's scrap some of the other stuff and then we'll make the hard decisions later. Let's just get rid of some of these. All right, there we go. All right. So which, uh, shoot, I should have been paying attention. Which catalyst did we get? We got primed, the primed prefix to a shield, reducing its recharge delay and shutdown duration by 30%. A very delightful one to add to a shield ST. Good stuff, good stuff. All right. Yeah, right now, uh, Aerospace One is on sale. Uh, there is a German Games sale. Oh my gosh, super cool. 80% off, what? That's a steal. Oh my goodness, that's cheaper than the meal you're gonna eat today. Definitely uh, encourage you to check that out. And for those of you who have not purchased into Everspace 2, be it because you've been watching the streams, have curious questions, or otherwise, uh, also a reminder that there's a free demo. But Everspace 2 is also included in the sale. We said, you know what, it's fine. We, it's kind of close to recent release, but hey, it's it's a German game sale. Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. So we do have a, uh, a percentage off for Everspace 2 as well. I believe it's 20%, which ain't no small thing. So yeah, 80% off in Germany. No, 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 this is, this is on Steam. It's, uh, it's not just in Germany. Yeah, if you want 80% off, you have to fly over to Germany, purchase the game there, and you can go back, go back to your daily. Yeah, no, no big deal. It's, uh, goodness. Let's have a distress call on our way uh, back to Prescott Starbase. Maybe to start up another mission, uh, but also to sell a lot of stuff. Okay, hang on, I have to look at this shipwreck even though I don't have any room for it. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, cool. 
I actually already had it so I didn't have to do any work. That's the best! Neat! One more. Ooh, Viper, okay. Nice, and that's gonna net us a pretty decent chunk of credits. That wasn't as much as I thought it was gonna be. We got about 2,000 credits, but you know, we'll take it. We will take it. Let's see, what do we got here? Yeah, we'll get rid of this. All right. All right, we're gonna head back on over to Prescott Starbase. I remember guys, when you're asking any questions about Everspace 2, we do try and segment the stream accordingly so that we have like a pockets of question answering formatted goodness. Um, but yeah, so go ahead and toss them out there. We would love to help provide any sort of clarity and feedback and also just like insight into cool little details too. You know, if you have like a, a more technical question or a logistical question about development, you know, I might not be able to fully answer, but you know, do consider asking. This is, again, more like a development stream here, uh, bridging the gap over to you guys, the community. We just love talking to you. We love to be transparent about things. And uh, yeah, we're gonna keep doing that as best we can, especially since Everspace 2 is still getting a little bit more love in its development cycle. <clears throat> Uh, talk to Mr. Cato for running the wheel. Oh, that's right. Yep, yep, yep. So let's do that. Talk to him. And then we're going to head to the shop. What do we got? We got some mining equipment that's orange and that's it. Okay. Energy shield, way better than damage limiters. We're just going to sell them. It's not much, but you know. It's fine. Definitely gonna hang on to that. Or... Cloak field generator. Hear me out, hear me out. Okay. While cloaked, we can wait on devices and reposition ourselves. Technically, could kind of get the sense of a device charge. Because you get that added space, right? Okay, that's gonna be how I'm gonna utilize it. I'm going to utilize it. Device charger, though, is pretty awesome for chaining things together that don't always get chained, right? Those pesky cooldowns getting into the way. Now, let's see what else we have. We are... What do we need this for? Oh, Alec, of course. Ah, why not? Let's, let's get some liquor for Alec. Alec's a good boy. There we go. Well, we don't have an equalizer, do we? I'm gonna check. That's not an equalizer, is it? No, it's not. Okay, so... Hmm. All right, just kind of think, I'm plotting, plotting my moves out. You could probably all see the, the, the cogs turning. Uh, just trying to be thoughtful in this process. Ooh, I kind of want to get that blueprint because we're at two out of three. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. Blueprint's unlocked. We're going to sell this for monies, I think. Yeah. Sensors. I do like the loot range quite a bit more than the standard sensors, but man, the resource range is effectively double on the standard sensor. I'm keeping this because I want the tagged mines. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's proving to be effective, so we're gonna keep it. Umbra, ooh. Ooh, another tempting one. Well, I'll have to think about that. The railgun could be nice but I think I would prefer the coil gun, honestly. Just wanna be a little bit more up close and personal with my murder death. Uh, 
let's see after yeah we're gonna we're gonna say goodbye to the Jaegers powerful blaster my goodness we got a lot of really good loot last stream into this one goodness we have some some pretty stark decisions to make do you think that I'd rather keep the mines over the missiles gonna go flock today we also might consider purchasing a ship because i think we're actually finally getting close to that value um and we've been flying this one i think for at least two streams right so we should probably change it's we're probably due for a change so that being said uh once we inevitably get to a station to purchase a new ship i do kind of need your guys' suggestions what you maybe want to see what ship um, that you are leaning towards. Now, you do have to remember it's gonna be at the discretion of what's being sold at the shop. So if you all somehow unanimously want one particular ship class and it's not being sold, I'm, I can't make that happen. But I am just curious, so if you have uh, your thoughts on what ship you'd like to see, go ahead and let us know in the chat. I am happy to try and adhere to that based on what the game will give us. Man, I am really considering this blaster and I didn't know I was going to. Um, but uh, it's gonna kind of depend on the ship that we buy too. Uh, gosh, oh my goodness. All right, well, I don't wanna spend all the stream just deciding between stuff. So what I am gonna do, and I don't know if it's honestly the best choice or not, we are gonna go with this Marksman Prime Zapper instead of the Auto Cannon. Um, I think I am gonna go ahead and sell the Blaster and Umbra as well. Uh, see you later. You were well loved, but I have bigger fish to fry, maybe. Let's also see if we can get some jobs from the Cato Palace. And again, uh, the only reason that you're seeing tons and tons of jobs is only because I do have, I'm running a dev build. And so there's the cheat that allows me to see more available jobs. This should only go up to like six or so. So I'm only gonna choose from the six. I do wanna do this Hitman job. Uh, we'll do ramen delivery, cause it's fun. And was there a, a low level destroy base? 13, 14. I'm gonna weenie out for now. All right, last but not least, we are gonna go ahead and repair and restock. And mark all the scene. Do we have, do we, do we, dang, I still want that tractor beam upgrade. <laughs> I keep avoiding repairs, oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, we're gonna keep going from here. Doesn't matter which ship we have for this job, so I'm just gonna do this job first and then we'll go look at what uh, ship opportunities we have. While we are doing the ramen drones, let's go ahead and start answering any questions that have built up at this time in the stream. Right, we've got two or three lined up. Everybody's a bit quiet tonight. I think it's the heat across the world. People are a bit tired. It is hot. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's true. Yeah, right. Um, Twitch uh, on the ball this evening. And first up, we've got RGB Toaster. And he's asking, do some legendaries have a higher chance to drop than others? I'm looking for a specific one for weeks now. You can always get the same ones. Yeah, I definitely understand that feeling. I mean, that's... That's part of the um, experience to be had in basically any sort of loot-centric game. Um, ironically, the loot isn't the primary focus of our title, but I mean, there's still pretty big emphasis, of course. Um, and through that, you know, yeah, you can get unlucky with, with the RNG. The drop rates are actually the same with all the legendaries, with three of them being available towards completing uh, certain missions. So there's a greater opportunity for three of them. Like you can absolutely guarantee get them based on some side missions that you accomplish, but then you can get new versions of those as well uh, through the rifts. So, yep, it's all the same. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, right, carrying on on Twitch. Uh, I am the law 42. Uh, wants to, are there any more patches uh, in the pipeline before we hit any form of DLC? Yes, there are. 
Uh, we have found a couple little issues here and there, and also we've discovered little quality of life things that would just seriously be nice to have. Um, and so, yeah, I can actually just say that straight up, we do want to apply an update um, before like we get into anything else that's super crazy. Um, but yeah, the timing is going to be the biggest factor on that front though, because um, more often than not, when we're working on a lot of details for something like a patch, we want to make sure it's like an all-inclusive thing. That means we want it to apply not just for Steam, we want it to apply to GOG, we want it to start to PC Game Pass, which we're still working on a DLSS issue. Um, like, there, there's a lot of factors that come into place there. So, um, yeah, I mean, if push comes to shove, if, you know, we aren't able to get it out sooner than later, what you would see is probably a little bit of an update addition to like when we get to our console launch, which is coming out this summer. So, but yeah, to answer the question just straightforward, we very much would like to uh, do another update. Yeah. And that's outside of like the free content update stuff too. So yeah, but we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. It's, it's hard to lock that stuff in place. Uh, we only, we mainly patch hotfix, I should say. We mainly hotfix when there are critical issues at hand. And at the moment, um, there haven't been haven't been too many critical issues, I would say. Excellent, excellent. Right. right. Mm. Yeah. Um, uh, right. Uh, T3 Cube uh, on Twitch is asking that they finally decided to buy the official soundtrack for Everspace One. Uh, it's, they found it was a shame that some of the tracks were missing, um, but they're hoping that we'll have all the full content from Everspace Two in terms of uh, tunes. Uh, we're not going to miss any hour, are we? I mean, we certainly hope not. I mean, it's it's a massive project, honestly, to to make sure all the music is properly in place for a soundtrack purposes. Um, it's one thing to develop music for specific instances and in how gameplay pacing and feel goes versus having it just as a track in a soundtrack. It's I know that sounds kind of weird. It's like, well, just, just take it and, and convert it over. The deed is done. Yeah. you know there's got to be a start and an end on a soundtrack right whereas in the game it has to have a perfect loop and you're thinking oh yeah well you can just like fade it away and blah 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 yeah we do and there's a lot of rebalancing that comes with that um it's not just a simple process of just oh yeah let's just copy all the sound files paste them onto a cd sell it we're good to go it, it's just it doesn't work like that unfortunately it doesn't work like that yes and um <clears throat> yeah so there were a couple tracks i think that were created after the initial everspace one ost came out that didn't get retroactively fitted in for a number of reasons uh, but yeah it's, it wasn't many there are a couple we hope that doesn't happen with everspace 2. in fact if we end up creating new soundtracks for like the dlc for example um it is on our uh, it is on our eyes, like we're, we're watching that to hopefully rectify any sort of uh, future additions by means of, you know, plugging in. So, but we'll see what happens. Excellent. Right. Switching over to YouTube, they've finally woken up. Um, we've got a question from Slorin. Uh, he says, in general, he feels that Star Forge is just playing better than Legendary. Uh, will these two uh, classes kind of be tweaked, or are you happy with where they are? I would say overall, we're fairly happy with <clears throat> the launch schedule thereof of Everspace 2 and how it's brought everything to the table. Um, is everything perfectly balanced? No, it's, it's not. Could we do some things probably a little bit better on that front? Yeah, we probably can. So it's going to be a matter of like, you know, evaluating what those details look like and then making some design design calls to bring it all together. Um, the short answer is there will probably be adjustments. We do rec recognize the discrepancy between Star Forge and Legendaries. So, yeah. Excellent. Right. Bearded Frog wants to know. Eric, why aren't you using the rare coil gun you've got in your inventory? 
The rare coil gun I have in my inventory? Do I have a rare? <laughs> well, because I like the Prime Zapper more. Oh, no, I don't. I like the... I don't know what you're talking about. Do you have yeah, another question? Nothing to see here. Move along. <laughs> Look, okay. Just... It's been a long way. <laughs> <laughs> That's always my excuse. Goodness. <laughs> it actually has been a long week, though. Mm. I digress. Now we have a, a better uh, coil gun for sure. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Go ahead and dock here for talent acquisition. Did you have another question or was that the last one? Uh, that's the last one for now. That's the last one for now. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> yeah, so I, I kind of want to pursue this talent acquisition a little bit more further um, with a quick repair here. Um, and then I also wanted to probably just sell this absolutely crap Prime Zapper. Jeez, who would use such a thing? Atroc atrocious. Um, and then we'll, uh, we're going to go look at the chip shop. Did you happen to see what the, the votes looked like pertaining to the ship desires? I saw a couple sentinels over. Yeah, peeps, a couple of sentinels, a couple of strikers, and that's been it up to now. And we did give the striker some love a, a few weeks back. I feel like that was the ship we had before this one. So if we can find a sentinel, I think that's going to be more desired. So let's see, we have a gunship, tier three gunship, which is uh, a little pricey. Pricey. We do have a sentinel. We can swap over to a sentinel, and I like the colors, honestly. That's pleasant. Just kind of want to poke around just the other ones, just because. Just like looking at the ships, honestly. Let's be real. But yeah, I do think. I think this is probably a good idea. So we have instantly reset all support device cooldowns when shield depletes. So we would do a more support device heavy build if we went this route. Static overload has a 10% chance to second uh, per second. Excuse me, I read the wrong. Static overload has a 10% chance per second to apply EMP to all affected targets for five seconds. I love that addition to the alt. I think it's a wonderful one. Um, support devices. So teleporter would be very useful. We're gonna go ahead and just top that off because it's delightful. I'm gonna go ahead and scurry it. Um, man, I haven't really been using the other support devices and I have these, the EMP generator and the magnetic repulsor upgraded. But it could come in a pinch though because it gives us a free teleport when our shields go down. So I think it's, I think just that synergy enough would be worth it. So we're gonna go ahead and buy it. We're gonna buy this. Swap, we're gonna swap it, I need to say. So let's go ahead and swap. We actually made money getting this ship. Gosh, hope that's not telling. Hello, Mr. Cool. Welcome to the stream. Shadow Wee, oh my gosh, when did you sneak in? Welcome, welcome. Intamin22, Sergeant Grimlock. Look at all these characters, welcome, welcome. Glad you are joining us. Uh, all right, so now we got our ship. Now we need to start getting our inventory all organized. Um, well, that was easy, all right, let's go. <laughs> oh, actually, I need to look at my perks really quick. And we probably wanna change our colors. Actually, Actually, I kind of—I just want to keep these colors. Let's let's use the authentic ship colors. Um, so let's see. We have activating a warfare device for charges. That's not bad here. And then close call because I've been dying a lot. But defensive massacre on a sentinel. Oh! We don't have a speed word. Oh, we have a speed word. Okay, so it wouldn't matter at the moment. But if we can get a better shield. All right, we're gonna keep this for now. We'll probably come back to it. I think this is okay. Downtime warrior could be rather effective here too, though. Just helping on energy management. Yeah, I think 
Nah, we need to play it safe. Right. We're gonna play it safe. Classic engine colors and a classic colored ship. I don't know, this, it shouldn't feel nostalgic, but for some reason it does. That's weird. That is weird to me. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, keep up this side mission, I think. This chain for, uh, not spelunking, we want to do, yeah, talent acquisition. Mm. Amarak, welcome to the stream. See us sneaking in, has a question. Um, a backer did not design the gunship specifically. The gunship was an original design. We had this uh, laid out uh, with Everspace One. Um, I do recall some jokes that were made about flying a brick though. I don't know if there was any intentionality to its design being a brick-like, <laughs> but it does kind of fly like a brick. You're not wrong. That's funny. Mm. Still without a death count. What's our death count at, Gary? Do you have a Do you have the number on hand? It's still 13. You're 13. still doing well. There was no deaths last week, so yeah. That's right. Cool, cool. I like it. Sorin always uses the standard shield. All right. All right. Yeah, I, I bounce around shields based on, like, what my perks are, what my passives are, what just the ship that I'm using is. Um, usually on lighter ships, I kind of like the meteor shields, ironically. Um... And speed word goes well with them, I feel like, just because you're always moving in a light ship. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I would say that speed words don't feel like they're as healthy for a gunship, for example. Um, but that implies that any shield is good for the gunship. <laughs> ah, but uh, I digress. Crime Wave 74, welcome. I am the Law 42, welcome. Loving your questions, loving your questions. I will just straight up say there is DLC in the works for Everspace 2. That's right. You heard it here first. Not really, we've, we've said it a number of times, but. but yeah, there is DLC. It is uh, currently scheduled for mid 2024. Um, I like to say possibly mid to late 2024, um, uh, but even still, I think that um, it's possible that things could get changed around even more from that. Just there's a lot of different factors there. It's going to kind of depend on a lot of internal decisions being made. Uh, maybe swapping to this plug on wasn't the best choice for this particular engagement. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is we actually are, have been working on a roadmap for Everspace 2's future development. And uh, I think Michael said that it was, I think he said very soon, like two weeks ago. Um, you know, adjectives are, are fickle things, okay. Uh, <laughs> but truth be told, we do want to give you that information sooner than later. And uh, yeah, so your patience is always appreciated. If Michael is floating, he could even sneak in and say, listen, guys, I really am hard at work on this. Uh, he might not be able to say that because he might just be hard at work on things that he's working on. The dude is a mad lad. So, yep. Way more information than you're asking for. There you go. Hyperspace 3 DLC, yeah. Wait a second. Slow down there. <laughs> Back it up, please. <laughs> well, at least this guy can't hit us. Yeah. I'll be sure to thank Daryl when I see him. Trust 
I just go ahead and grab the contents in this area. I believe there's uh, some stuff to do on the other side of it, but getting a little bit more loot might not be too bad. Resources. Always useful. Many thanks for the response. No, thanks for being here. I do appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, these are these are our Game Dev community streams for a reason, so I'm glad you're taking advantage of that. You're joining. You're asking questions. It's great. It is to the design. Oh, credits. Nice. Straight credits. Always a good thing. Right now, in particular. Let's see if we can uh, not screw this up. Successful not screw up is successful. Mm. Gotta love it. All right, and then there's another something or other over there. Look at these. Look at these absolutely clear things saying, hey, come to me. Look at what I have in store for you. Love it. Go over here first. Ooh. Let me some ship colors. New window color is nice. Uh, how do I do this? It's like I have to look around. Oh my gosh. I can't believe we designed a game with exploration where you have to look around. I, seriously, I am. What were we thinking? I got so many questions for the team. Tony, why? Why did you make levels? That's it, that's the question. Why did you do that? We could have just had empty space for clean combat. No surprises. Nope. How dare he? Put things in the way. Wah! Get there! Get there! Oh, it's gonna get there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Moist. I think there was something... There was some glowing bits over here, too. Let's go check that out. Oh, 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 oh. Resources first. Kappa! And probably some crystals. Yeah! That's what I like to see. I need more Atheum. Or, wait, no. Actually, we're looking for Culver now, right? We're looking for Culver. That's our goal, but regardless, you can never have too many resources, right? Right? All right. Okay. I know I didn't get the 100% completion, but that's okay. We can come back here later. I don't want to spend too much time floating around. When I get Kala, I'm probably going to be more intentional about 100% completing stuff. But yeah. So, mission chains there. Wait, which one's this? Oh, that's the job. Goodness. Uh, what do we have? What do we have? We don't have a job there? What? What is... We have a green symbol. Oh, it's... <laughs> I haven't accepted the job yet. Okay. Got it. It's one that randomly spawned in. Good, good, good. I like being In confused. If, I like being I like being confused when it's an opportunity, right? That's acceptable. If it's confusing, but like it it uh, separates me from having fun, that's not fun. But this is like, what is that? Oh, it's something new. Okay, all right. I, I'm fine with that. I am okay with that. Uh, let's see. Precision and resistance as opposed to firepower and tag mines? Nah, nope, not good enough. <laughs> mm, we'll do that for now. 
I think we do want to head back to Prescott. Man, we're flying so far all over the place. Maybe we just need to stop somewhere. How far is our alt charged? Hmm. Mind sweeping, easy money, that's true. One little comment changes the stream path. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think we are going to take on the Minesweeper. Let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> oh, welcome, Vigo. Holy cow, I missed you coming in too. Oh my gosh. Look at all these individuals sneaking on here. Mr. Cool, I see. Hello. Oh my gosh. Sneaking in. Thank you for saying anything in the chat so that I can recognize you. It's always a pleasure having you wonderful folks swinging on by. I'm sneaky like that? Alright, that's fair, that's fair. I've definitely seen you play this game and know how well you sneak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Watching other people play this game is fun. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Eric's old nemesis, Mines. Oh my gosh, yes. Mines are, yeah, they're just everything that I can't stand. <laughs> it didn't used to be that way. <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden I'm rethinking taking a mine, sweep, sw mine sweeping job because it's nothing but mines. How, how could I do this? This is dangerous territory, baby. You have to think of it. Eight bit Vic, welcome to the stream, Mr. Neutral Twenty Five. Those bears are beautiful. I need to pay attention so I don't fly into a minefield. Holy cow! That would have been beautifully ironic, but no, thank you. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna butcher this. It sounds like a food, and I don't know if it's meant to be a food or not. Junior Pin Pin Pinchotti? Is that how it's pronounced? Oh gosh. Welcome to the stream. Also, my frames are absolutely tanking. Don't worry, it's not you. It's me. Let me make a quick adjustment. This should help a healthy bit. Certain locations are a little more uh not stream friendly. How we put it. I'm gonna open some doors over here, collect some loot, and then we'll maybe trigger this side mission, I think, before we do Maddox. There's actually a healthy bit of loot in this area, so we won't get it all, but I'll get some of it at least. This one's underneath. Is this the one that you... No, it's not. Maybe it is. Nailed it. Actually, really enjoy the effects of the radio chatter that's been added. Been really enjoying that. Have you guys been responding to it? Out of curiosity. Really, I'm curious. Whoa! Oh! Woof, woof, woof. oh my gosh! This game is out to get me. Aha! There you are, you sneaky sneak. Vigo, there's your example. Be like a closed container. Ooh, nice! Straight upgrade. I will take that. Structure instead of precision, and less 
Less speed. Uh, I don't think it's worth one cargo slot, honestly. Uh, let's see. We've got some scorpion souls. The auto cannon we are completely attached to. High velocity Jaeger. 1% chance for each shot to increase all damage dealt to the target's hole by 100% for 5 seconds. The deed is done. Uh, let's see. We are going to look at not really much else here. We need to sell. When we dock, we will have to engage some fools. So maybe we'll get a little bit more of this stuff done first. <laughs> Just to kind of clear it out. little tunnels. Prime Zapper? Mm. See, what was the... Where's the Prime Zapper? Where'd it go? Mm. I keep the recharge. Straight upgrade. We'll just scrap the other one for that blueprint progress to be made. And standard homing missiles? Actually, not bad temptation. Can't really go too wrong with the standard set. Alright. So we are gonna head to base. We're going to sell a bunch of stuff. Start this side mission chain. And then when we're done, we'll probably keep pursuing the, uh, the main storyline. Um, I am curious, since we've reached the point of probably questions, uh, how many we have on the dockets? What do we got, Gary? Uh, we've just got a couple lined oh. up. That's all Let's we've got go. to know. Yeah. Okay. Go. Okay. Right. Uh, over on Twitch, we have I am the Law Forty Two again, and they are asking, have we ever considered Everspace One as an endgame mode for Everspace Two? Maybe Adam accidentally stumbling into a clone container. So uh, that has not been that particular idea, no. Um, but a big part of the okay, rifts, good. the ancient rifts at the end of Everspace 2 were actually inspired by just the gameplay loop of Everspace 1 itself. So there's that. But uh, yeah, there's not necessarily plans to re-clone Adam. That's interesting. <laughs> Definitely interesting. So, uh, yeah. What else we got? Uh, we have one from Slorine, and he's just wondering, is he likes the radio chatter, but it feels sometimes a little bit too prevalent. Uh, is there going to be any tweaks on that? We did ensure that there is a dedicated background chatter option in the volume so that if you're not happy with it for any crazy reason or you feel like it's too much, you can just whoop, scale it down accordingly. Um, turn it off completely if you want to do that as well. Um, but that's about the best we're probably going to get on that front. We're not, we don't have any plans to tone it down. Um, but if you want to, you can literally turn it off. So. Let's see. So, do we have any more? Yep. Uh, <clears throat> got one just coming from 19 White Moon 87 over on YouTube. Um, I think it's just something that we might want to cover in general in terms of DLC, but they've heard that they might be getting some DLC in the summer. Is there any news on this? Uh, so, DLC this summer. Um, so, if we're looking at the technical terminology here, like I want to make sure that we're not having an argument, argument of semantics, okay? So, let's break this down. Downloadable content, DLC, what it stands for. Could we have downloadable content this summer? that you download that is content for Everspace 2. Yeah, that's possible. That's possible. Um, the free content update, which is technically DLC, because again, you have to download it. Um, we are trying to aim for that to come out a little bit sooner than later, um, but I can't guarantee it will happen. 
We had a little bit of a question earlier in the stream about an update coming to the game, for example, um, and it's... It's tricky to like lock that in and say for sure, right? Because there's a lot of details going on in the background. Um, I can say that for our Game Pass uh, users out there, um, as soon as we get a sol solution for the DLSX, uh, DLSS, that is going to go through basically immediately. Um, but aside from that, um, there's not really any sort of push to get um, the DLC um super fast like we want to we want these free content updates to be nice little packages so outside of like well, actually we're, let's still talk about semantics a little bit we do distinguish the free content update from the premium dlc okay so free content it's downloadable content yes it's dlc technically but free content you know we've got that in the pipeline premium dlc that's the expansive edition of content right expansive i don't know why i'm doing this with my hands just bear with me all right that's what we refer to as dlc free content stuff you're getting dlc premium stuff that you will buy it's going to be lots of stuff okay hopefully we have no problems with semantics ever again forever cool <laughs> hopefully that also answers the question so there are there's plans to do um uh, a content update, free content update, and there's plans to do premium DLC. And we may or may not have more information on the timeline of that uh, sooner than later. I'm hopeful that it's gonna be sooner than later, uh, but yeah, we'll we'll find out together, I think. <laughs> Lots of decisions are still being made. <laughs> Woo! All right, uh, let's get rid of some of the stuff that we don't need and get some credits. Powerful auto cannon is nice, but man, I just I love this high velocity Jaeger. I really do. Of course, it would pair well with the Jaeger. Oh my gosh, so many decisions. Do we have another question? While I'm thinking, I just got everything? the just got the one just got the one ready for you. Okay, uh, and this is from Slurine again over on YouTube. Uh, is there any talk at Rockfish for increasing the consequences of attacking friendlies outside of the protected areas? You know, at one point we did have some pretty healthy consequences and it didn't feel fun. It was, it just wasn't fun. It, it was, it was like we were doing it just because other games have done it as opposed to like trying to focus in on what we want to accomplish. And, you know, inspiration is great on that front. Like, you know, you can uh, create something that's similar to something else and, you know, then make it your own on the side of having these sort of engagements where you can kind of be, get in trouble the more we kind of talked about it internally it just it just didn't pair well with the game that we were trying to make and i know you know some people out there are going to disagree with that and that's that's totally fine but at the end of the day we just wanted to put more emphasis on fun and flexibility so if you're doing stuff that's not necessarily good you can kind of get away with it and that's okay like because you're getting loot and you're having a good experience um, whereas everything's just coming down on you you miss out on possible loot you have to restart your save i mean yeah it makes sense but it just yeah it just wasn't working for us so yeah truth be told the um Okar protection system and the, the wanted system surrounding that, um, that was gonna be much more expansive. And we did kind of like put our hands down and say, this is fine the way it is. We need to put focus on other things that are gonna bring to light what Everspace 2 is truly about. We're happy of its inclusion, but going deeper on that front, just wasn't the direction we wanted to take. So hopefully that's the clarity that you were looking for on that front some pretty cool little internal decisions made from time to time, so. Yeah. <laughs> Do we have another question? No, that's it for now. You can fly on pilots. Cool. Super duper. And we get, we got a straight up better recharge booster. I am pleased about that. Firepower and structure. Would have liked more precision, honestly, but it's nice. It's... Sell this. 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 Oh, this is tempting. Mm. And it has increased damage against units with a higher level than your own. We could get some serious cheese. Well, if we don't die and get close enough. Uh, you know what? Let's mix things up. 
Let's try it. Maybe we'll add to our death counter. That's okay. I want to do something a little bit different. I'm sure you can probably agree with that. Time to time, just getting bored of doing something uh, that's exactly the same, like using the exact same weapon over and over. Um, that being said, I actually love pulse lasers, but I digress. All right, let's see how this goes. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, I think we did talk on the the Okar Wanted system somewhat recently. I don't know if it was last week or not, Spoot Night, but yeah. Um, yeah. Lots of, lots of internal decisions had to be made on that front. Because, you know, it's all about the focus of our resources, right? What's this person on the team going to do? <laughs> is their time being utilized well, or is it needless? How do we want to better this process in the future? Is this system really important? Lots of little questions like that. Tell you what, one question that probably a lot of developers should ask themselves more often, and I'm not trying to call any developers out, but I do think it does need to be asked more often in the industry as a whole. It's just asking the question, does this thing that I want to add create value, and does it have a purpose for being there? That's a question that we, those are questions that we ask a lot at Rockfish. Mainly siding on the fun factor. You know, I know there's a lot of people out there um, that are incredibly passionate about story. Story is great. Story helps uh, the gameplay experience become more fluid. As a video game, gameplay, I mean, if you have a story-centric game with not very good gameplay, it's kind of like a one-and-done sort of thing. But if you have a not very good story but with really great gameplay, you tend to play it over and over again. You're just kind of like, ah, the story, whatever. Like, it's it's something of a something of a argument that is uh, had amongst developers and uh, uh, you know, like so many decisions on that front. But it's it's. One thing you have to make a lot of careful decisions on. You know. So, story-centric games, awesome. Does it have gameplay to back it up? Gameplay game, sweet. Is your story valuable? <laughs> Little questions like that. Man, development is fun. These waves of enemies are way easier than I was expecting them to be, and I think that the Executioner was a solid choice. Cool. Is it just me? Or are they getting more aggressive? They've been trying to pin us down for a while. They won't wait for another chance. Alright, here we go. I'm loving the more questions that are sneaking in. Um, if they are basic questions, well, I shouldn't say basic. If they are easier questions to handle, sometimes we'll have team members just straight up answer you as well. But yeah, um, do know that we will be answering another slew of questions here in a little bit. If we get a strong build up, all that fun stuff. Oh, I think I have, hang on a second. Do I have, um, oh yeah, I wanna, wanna start knocking these out. I should tag one of these. Here, let's tag this one because it's a little bit easier to find. Scrap. One last wave incoming. They're trying to get at our provisions. <laughs> Getting a lot of canopy colors this week. Yeah, right? It's like they were disabled last week or something. They, they weren't. They just... Let's go ahead and just... Uh... Ah! Was a little more closer for comfort than I would have liked. Uh, you know what? Not quite close enough. I would have liked him to be a little bit closer, but you know. We'll 
I'll take it. Oh, whoops. That was not what I wanted to do. Oh. There's another wave? Did we add another wave? I can't remember. Oh my gosh. Uh, were we hanging on to some generic missiles? Did we sell them? Oh my gosh. We're gonna swap over some generic missiles and try to kill the Outlaw drone. Missile drone. Oh, well. Oh, well. Okay. Let's complete this side mission. Maybe do a little bit more exploration of some secrets in the area, because uh, we have not found them all. Scattergun is kicking. Oh, my gosh, yeah. I, I'm a big fan of the Scattergun, honestly. Um, yeah, it's, it's like... I, I, it might be my favorite weapon. Oh gosh, man, that's such a bold statement to make. But I really do like it. The Scattergun as a whole. The Executioner is so powerful, but just the Scattergun, um, its type of weapon as a whole, I just, I really enjoy it. I'm also a big fan of the Bloodstar Repeater, even though it could probably use a, could probably use a boost. I get some buffs, eh, personally, but... Uh, Was that there before? Overrated. Was that there? Was that? Did I just completely look over that? My goodness. I am blind as a bat. How did I miss that? Okay. Well, that's fine. <laughs> Let's go ahead and sell some stuff. I'm going to go ahead and move this over here. No, I don't want to do that. I should probably just sell it. I'm gonna hang on to it just because I wanna be stubborn. Yay, stubbornness. And I think it is time for the coil gun to go. It served its limited purpose of like five shots that I used, but hmm. I think it is time. Oh, whoops, I'm getting, so hang on a second, hang on. Okay, all good. All right. Uh, let's see, we got some, uh, yeah, cool. Nice little side mission. Good use of the alt, thanks, Eric. I appreciate you, you're very kind. Oh yeah, don't mention it. Um, let's go check out Maddox and his hideout. I think we can do this. I think, maybe. Seeing a lot more individuals sneaking into the chats. Welcome, everybody. Oh my gosh, it's going to be hard for me to, to get all the names. I see DCs, Bs. I see E2 Moto. I see um, 19 White Moon 87. Um, I'm seeing Prime Art Arches, I think. Lots of users. Welcome, welcome to the stream. stuff i love the little discussions you're all having as well keep it up and remember if you do have questions about everspace 2 its development thereof you know i am here to serve you that's that's my entire role i'm the community ambassador my name's eric schrader i got gary on the line he's community manager Hello. yeah like we we want to help you we like engaging with you we like having fun so if you have some questionos uh hook us up so we can respond In the meantime, I am going to move along. Don't know if I want to head on to the next particular site yet. We might try and get um, a little more progress on um, the Cato quest line. Agreed 
Was Eric doing his best Marianne or Marianne impression from Kato Palace? Oh, <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I'm just having fun. Mm. It turns out that if you are not dancing to the music as you're playing the game, you're actually playing the game wrong. Uh, yeah, there you go. So change your habits, everyone. It's, uh... <laughs> oh my gosh. Them moves? No, no, no. Those aren't moves, man. Those are... <laughs> Woo! You guys, you're fun. All right, we're gonna get the five stops away chain so that we can start doing some more jorbs. Get them jorbs on. Welcome back, Mr. Roslin. Have you come to see the current job listings? Why not, Marianne? You could always use a few extra credits. Completion of tasks will earn the appreciation of the organization. Alright, let's go ahead and grab some jobs, I think. That's what we want to do next. We got some item retrievals. I kind of want to go for maybe some lower levels. Uh, maybe another Hitman. These aren't too bad. Okay, Coach Z. Oh my gosh, Stinky Goat got my reference. Thank you so much. Trogdor! Um, let's... Uh... <laughs> it's not called Stinky, by the way. It's not stinky. Oh my gosh, Steiny. Oh, st oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, <laughs> gravy. Wow. Misreading <laughs> usernames is so much fun. Woo, Steiny goat. Wow. My apologies. <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> yeah, F in chat. Pay respects, please. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and do. Man, I'm a little. I don't know why I'm so nervous to take anything higher level than like my own. Oh, I gotta probably get over that eventually, but the slow grind feels like the good grind for me here. Um, we already got that one. Okay, so we're making progress. Good, good, good. All right, so we took on a couple jobs. Let's go ahead. I think we actually took three jobs. Let's go ahead and start focusing those down. I do see a question that I want to just straight up answer in chat. Um, the question's about workshop mods. Um, this, this question we actually get a little bit more often than not, um, but the official answer is that we have never made plans to do mods, uh, but I think the team unanimously, unanimously agrees that it would be awesome to have. Um, so the short of it is, is that it is not being prioritized. It is not in the plans whatsoever. Um, it's something that if super big, bold, italicized, asterisked, if uh, we would do something like that, it would be uh, a bit more in the future. So, yeah, just, just want to clear that one. Clear that one. Good one. All right, let's do the Hitman here. Oh, 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 oh. oh my gosh, we got first match. Oh my gosh. Oh, whoops, I jumped back. Oh gosh. Jump away, jump away. Nope, 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 nope. No! Just call me Sir Robin. It's fine. It's fine. It's not fine. It's not fine. Okay, so we know our limitations now. That was good. That was good. All right. Um, let's go back to Prescott. Fix our ship. You don't have a better idea. Let's actually. We're gonna go back to home base. We. I want to go back to home base. Um. There was, yeah, because we got all of this stuff. I want to head to home base first. This is going to be my jumping off point. 
There's a reason, you'll understand. I'm not crazy. You're crazy. You should have died like a man. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say it was a close call and you would be actually be right because that's literally what I survived by. Uh, yeah, that, that definitely triggered. Close call. Yep, yep. That hull is very minimal. It's almost like your ship is made of aluminium. Uh, <laughs> stop it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's every uh, week. I'm telling you, every week. It's, it's looking, it's looking a little rough around the edges. That's for sure. We'll get a little bit better viewport whenever we get in over to the Cedo Transit Gate. It's, uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Die with honor, says Bearded Frog. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think we do need to swap out the speed word, though. It's not synergizing well with the, um, the Sentinel. Just fight better? Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. I, for some reason, I just I, I just thought about getting good, and I was like, nah. Uh, that's weird. Paper mache ship, yeah. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, the lighting of it right there? Oh my goodness, it seriously did look like it's about to fall apart. That's funny. Oh wait, no, no, no. First we want to... No, we really do need to repair, don't we? We'll just repair right here and then we'll get some of these uh, side missions done. That's honestly what I want to do. And maybe things will be a little bit lighter over here so we don't, uh, you know, have this poor thing happen to us. Yikes town. Woo! Just wondering when you turn up again. Man, that's kind of expensive. Wait, do I have to undock to set it? Hang on. See. Testing to see if this works. It's still the same price. They didn't change. Wasted my repairs. Hmm. Lame. Uh, but you know what? We're going to go ahead. And, let's see if we can invest everything in here now. Let's just see if we can go all the way. Nope, we can't. We are missing iron and power casing and pure iron. Okay, so we need more iron. All right. Well, yeah, I guess that makes sense. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just repair. It's fine. I do love the way that the mesh goes away. That makes me pretty happy. Okay, so missions-wise, there were a number of tasks that we had to do over here. There was the, um, wasn't the, it's gathering dust. Oh, that wasn't the one I was thinking of. I heard scrap. That's the one I was thinking of. Um, I want to I wanna try and get that mission chain going. Uh, capitalize on that. And go from there. I also think that CETA is not going to be as demanding, so we're going to see if we can boost the stream up to that clean-looking 60, if possible. Looks like it's going. Mm. He's not wrong, actually. He's not wrong at all. Not wrong at all. All right, let's head on over to Cribdus Bolt, do I Heart Scrap, and have some engagements with some Bloodstar, I think. Welcome to all the newcomers coming in, by the way. My name's Eric, Community Ambassador, on the line with Gary. And uh, we're answering questions about the game. Just being a, your nice neighborhood friendly developers. We're from Germany. <laughs> um, uh, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, 
know, we're just having a good time today. <clears throat> what you're experiencing here is nightmare difficulty. And we are also um, talking about little death things here and there, little details. Yeah, having a good old time, I think. Did you not tell oh yeah, I forgot Citizens of Velocity as well. Oh my goodness. We need to do the race too. Let's do the race first. Question, who in the dev team played Deep Rock Galactic enough to make an achievement called Rock and Stone? There were multiple of us. Rock and Stone, brother. I'm uh, quite the fan. I think that they do a lot of wonderful things, Ghost Ship Games. Yep. Yeah, we've uh, we definitely took inspiration from Deep Rock. And, uh, yeah. Oh, I can't do that. Yeah, I have to do this. Lol. That is excellent, yes. Definitely agree. Yeah, there's a surprising large number of games that we drew inspiration from for Everspace 2. Like, some that you might just look at and be like, really, that inspired you? And, but yeah, like so many g games these days, like, it's, and like, I also think it's important to mention, like, you know, when we say we're inspired by, let's use Diablo as a prime example. This is actually a, an important conversation here. So when we say we're inspired by Diablo, that does not mean what we're trying to do is be the sci-fi equivalent of a hack and slash heavy loot system, multiple enemy rally uh, sort of adventure campaign sort of experience. No, it means that there was part of the game systems within the Diablo franchise that we went, we like this. This is something that would fit into the vision that we have that is completely original and our own that could probably do with some supplementation from an, a concept or a theme like what is present here. And on the front of Diablo, we did take some inspiration specifically with, regarding their itemization. And I say some because obviously not all of it. We're flying a spaceship. You don't have axes that you wield on the front of it or any nonsense like that. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, even our class system drew a little bit of inspiration from that as well, wanting to have different ships uh, play differently from one another. Um, but yeah, it's it's not like we just took Diablo and oh, it's copy paste, it's spaceships now. No, that's not what inspiration is. <laughs> it's just a, clear the air on that. There's been some weird conversations in the Steam forums. But yeah, <clears throat> it just means in part, there was something that was like, this is super cool. And uh, yeah, Deep Rock Galactic, that's another one. A lot of sci-fi centric games though, going back to your classic Elite and your Freelancer, of course, um, and Wing Commander and the X, uh, X, uh, Star Wars X-Wing and Star Wars TIE Fighter and uh, Descent and goodness gravy. The, the list really does go on. It's mostly space games, but every now and then you get one that's not because of a particular system that it utilizes that would coincide with what we're trying to accomplish. Terminal velocity, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, <clears throat> there is no hive level, oh my gosh. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, Caden, I didn't see you sneak in, that's clever. <clears throat> All right, let me, um, what was I doing, oh my gosh. Oh yeah, we gotta, we gotta check the wayward drills. That's right, we get to go into the tunnels. Thanks, Hive. <laughs> oh my gosh. Man. I don't know why, just the, the sound of turning off and turning on the light. Gosh, I love sound design when it's done well. Goodness gravy. All right. AI unit, what's up? This one's busted. Oh. How dare you. for number two. Also had FTL as inspiration for Airspace One. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. 
thing. And technically there are some aspects of FTL that would also be applicable to Everspace 2, but uh, yeah, not nearly as much of a connection as you know you have from Everspace 1 to FTL. Ooh, more ramen. Earth wine. Delightful. Take those. I got a low roll on this generation. That <laughs> normally it's not that spaced out. Oh well. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, get this AI unit. All right. Fingers crossed. It is in a fragile state, but still operational. Yay! All right. Better not touch it then. I'll let the businessman figure out how to salvage it. All right. Let's see what else we got. I do think that we have to complete this quest chain first. We won't shoot. We won't shoot back. We have no beef with you. Coming from Bloodstar. We have no beef. I know. Gosh. Now I'm just hungry. Is that true? Hunting down may overdramatize it a little. More like you guys seem to keep getting in my way. Told you I'm blasted if you're here and now. No, hold it. Let's talk first. I see Homeworld was mentioned in the chat. Yeah, um, I would say that Homeworld was perhaps visually an inspiration to some degree or capacity. I imagine you guys can probably also tell that like um, uh, Star Trek, Star Wars, goodness. Have you seen the striker? <laughs> oh my goodness. Lots of lots of games, franchises, gosh, it spins all over the place. Seriously? I don't know if you're stupid or naive asking for help from a complete stranger. Or you're pointing guns at Wanted to talk, Adam, you're constantly doing that yourself. Jeez. Got him. Alright. Look over the chat and I see keyboard and mouse feels like office work to me. Give me some space so I can figure this out. What does that what? What? <laughs> so just, that is such an intriguing response to like preferences regarding how to play games. It feels like office work to me. Man. That's never to be honest. I like I can kind of understand what you mean, but that's such a strange way to put it like like i i get it like it feels more like mechanical as instead of organic is probably kind of what you're referring to but man it feels like office work that's so particular slurine tutson thank you for bending my brain a little bit oh my gosh yeah i just like it because it's more comfortable for my hands and i like the flexibility of use but uh obviously we have um both mouse keyboard support and um, we have a tremendous amount of support for various uh, uh, HOTAS and HOSAS setups and stuff. Oops, that's the wrong one. Um, so like lots of things here that you can see uh, going on. Um, but yeah, like we have lots of team members who prefer controller. Um, we have some that, um, yeah, some that prefer mouse and keyboard. We don't, I don't think we actually have very many team members that prefer HOTAS or HOSAS. Um, I think there might be one, but even still in thinking about that, I don't know if they prefer it, but I digress. We made it because we want you guys to have a lot of that accessibility, right? That's why we did it. Oh, look at all this stuff that's in the green. Gimme that sweet, sweet moolah. All right, we take those. I'll also sell the clothing. All right, 
Uh, we'll just sell the missiles. Medium nanobots instead of small ones. We're gonna have to start saving. Keep getting more data. I'm not interested. So yeah, now we got that done. Let's go ahead and do Citizens of the Velocity. Once we're done with Citizens of Velocity, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna head to the home base and we're gonna dock. Then we are going to get into some uh, screenies. Some screenshotties. Maybe. I might do one more combat engagement first, now I'm thinking about it, but we'll see. We have a little bit of time. We we have uh, just a we have a few screenshots this week, so nothing crazy. Uh, do love it when you guys submit them. I just want to highlight that. All right, let's see how we do. I've not optimized this ship for uh, racing whatsoever. Is it going to be good? I already feel so slow. Oh goodness. Yeah, this it's is going to be. Weak. Yeah, this, uh, I, I don't know if I can, am I even going to be able to get gold at this point? Jeez. This feels really slow. <laughs> Woo! Oh. It's trying to conserve boost. That messed me up. Okay, well, it wasn't as bad as I thought, but still. Definitely, definitely slow. Definitely slow. But uh, we'll take it, it's fine. How are other races uh, compare, actually? I, now I'm really curious. Uh, racing. We've got gold on all of them, really? Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. That's fine. That's fine. We're, we're consistent. That's why I'm here. No, we don't. Superman 64 was an obvious inspiration. Absolutely. We, we pulled up that game and we're like, man, it speaks to our soul. Absolutely. Just 100%. Truer words were never spoken. I mean, the whole reason we put aliens in the game, we, we spooled up um, E.T. on the Atari and we were just like, dang, man, it's just so touching. We just have to include aliens. It's it's just it just means. You so think much. that one up out with your backyard? <laughs> Several. <laughs> Whew. All right, let's. Uh, what are we doing? Oh my gosh, I'm losing track of what we're even doing now. I think we're gonna go back to the home base. <laughs> let's get an unknown signal. So is this game gonna get buried? Oh my gosh! That was not the that was not the parallel I was hoping for. Jeez. It's not not in the plans. Uh hang on, what's our what's our challenges? We got uh Outlaw Drone Carrier without destroying any of its drones. Let's try it. Let's try it. Maybe we can maybe we can do this. We can't use Oh yeah. Easy! Easy! Mm. Oh, hi, Alec. And a level up. Oh, perfect, perfect. Just, just, I mean, they're all lower level than me, so, you know, but still. Sometimes it can feel good beating up on lower level stuff. Sometimes. This is actually a part of the... Well, that's hard to say. There's a number of de design philosophies we had in conjunction with why we have done what we've done to the uh, location progression. But the short of it is because it feels more authentic going this way instead of having everything scale all the time. Good one, Alec. I love you. Just 
was trying to help him dock. Ha! Got him on that one. One more energy coil. Where are you at? Man, I am so glad that we highlighted these dang things when you get close to ending. I think that was Marco's idea. I'm not sure, but... Thank you, Marco. I'm just going to say that. Oops! I just realized that was a Mac cap and I just went through mines. Okay. <laughs> I could have gone south so fast. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to do something that probably is going to seem silly, but um, I'm actually going to take some damage. I want to take some damage. There is a reason for it, I promise. I'm going to take a little more damage, actually. Now we're going to head back to the home base. Eric tells us to destroy satellite dishes first. Several streams ago, today he flies right by it. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I was being, I was being a little lazy on the front of targeting what probably should have been targeted first because it was a lower level base. I was playing with my food, you know, throwing ships around. You're probably right. You're probably right. Mines, 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 I see you. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, there is a, there is a um, hangar that they do scramble fighters. And um, I do actually think that there are enemy units that can warp in at like certain, like after a certain amount of parts of the base gets destroyed, I think they actually warp in. Maybe it's only for certain bases, though, but, um, yeah. We did certainly take those elements into consideration, and I've done it. All right. Um, all right, so, yeah, here, I think we're going to go ahead and just, we're going to start getting ready for uh, doing some screenshots. Um, and so I'm just going to move some stuff over and uh, <laughs> just casually plug that in. Uh, just wanted to fly out here and just, man, that armor, the armor is pretty nice. I definitely enjoy that. That feels pretty good. That feels pretty good. Don't even have to do anything. Mm, yeah. It's pretty neat. But, uh, yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and get some screenshots going. I think that's what you guys want, right? That's what you all want. So yeah, I have to, we have to start things off with kind of a, a funny one. Uh, one that I really appreciate. Uh, this one actually comes from Secret President. We might be okay just because of the speed of this particular ship. Like we're, we're fairly evasive. So long as I don't do anything super dumb. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Thank you. Thank you for that, uh, Secret President. Definitely enjoy that one. Um, <laughs> I love the memes you all share. It's positively wonderful. Um, and you guys have been slowly but surely up in your game. I appreciate that. I appreciate it. It's good. It's good stuff. Oh, uh, we're going to go through all the screenshots. Uh, and we're going to start back here. 
so we can get to Super 8. We've got this screenshot that a lot of you guys loved. I actually got a lot of love over on the Discord and just wanted to highlight it. I think it does a wonderful job of showcasing the silhouette of the Vanguard. And the colors thereof are just pleasantly matching, so it's uh, super duper cool. Super neat. Super great. Um, also, in this time, we're answering any questions that have been saved up for the end of the stream. Um, I don't know why anyone would have any further questions at this point, um, but as they come in, we would be happy to, you know, uh, answer them as we're highlighting screenshots. Uh, so Gary, what do we got as we move over to Steiny's shot over in the Keone system? That's Steiny, not Stinky. There we go. Yeah, I said, um, Ste I said Steiny, right? Hopefully. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> well done. Uh, we've got a question from Jesse C over on YouTube. Sure. Uh, since the radio chatter is AI assisted in its creation, does that mean more radio chatter may be included in the future? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a possibility. I mean, I'm not going to say that it's not going to happen, but um, that's there's going to be a number of factors that will line up for that style of direction forward. Um, and it's no surprise, uh, at least I hope it's no surprise to you, that we have worked and do work with a um, a, a team of voice over artists. Um, and uh, yeah, our, our focal point uh, primarily is making sure that we are uh, providing high quality voices for the title. Um, beyond that, you know, if we need like bits and fillers here and there, uh, I mean, it's, it's a possibility of exploring more. But um, yeah, we're, uh, we, want to, we want to give a lot of meaning and life uh, to, to characters when we can primarily so yep good question i like that i like that uh next shot this one also comes from steiny uh, just a nice clean shot inside of an ancient terminal or ancient i guess it's technically an ancient warp gate is the the proper way of describing this and uh yeah it's a nice pleasant background it slapped that on my wall so uh we have another question yeah i've okay. got several lined up for you oh, right I am the law forty two again on mm, yeah. Twitch. Would like to know: um, Does cannot be damaged on items also mean it cannot overheat in rifts and high risk areas? Ooh! Oh, look at this question. I like that a lot. Unfortunately, no. So there are two different applications to equipment. One is overheating, and one is damage. So if an item cannot be damaged, it can actually still overheat. So your answer it's a clever question uh but yes we did at one point have a cannot overheat on uh as the modifiers i'm pretty sure at least maybe i'm fibbing i know that we had it as a concept at one point um but the reason that it's not on them is because it wasn't uh it was insanely situational even more situational than cannot be damaged which is arguably internally one of the lesser liked modifiers. I think from the community, you would also probably agree with that. So um, here's hoping we could add more modifiers to diversify the loot pool. I mean, I just don't know if that's gonna happen. <clears throat> Next shot comes from Cactus 11. Cactus 11, particularly looking at the earrings, I think on this shot, just a nice, nice little shot of some ads in Prescott Starbase while we answer another question. What do we got? Um, we got one from Flory over on Twitch. <clears throat> Always usual digging for, for answers here, but will we get new weapons only in big updates or is there a chance we will be surprised? No new items at all coming to our space too, <laughs> at all, no, no, no. Not, not gonna happen whatsoever. Next question, please. Man, geez, what a... Can't believe somebody would think we're adding more content. I can't. It's nuts. <laughs> nuts to me. <laughs> if it's not clear, uh, we would, we're, we're, of course, moving in directions that uh, we want to... We want to up that replayability factor, right? Like that's a that's a big component to like any game that you're playing, um, you know, having more... Uh, builds and layouts and, and just fun stuff to do in general. Like we want to accomplish those tasks if we can. And so, yeah, we're revisiting uh, that in part and um, making pretty decent progress. You found a jumping spider? Yeah, hey, can, come over here really quick. Come over here. I want you to say hello to the stream. Hello. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> so sweet. She found a jumping spider outside. That is awesome. And, and Oh, you put it in Mary's garden. Oh, that's so sweet. We put it in the bucket and then we dumped it in Mary's garden. Oh, 
okay, well, that's very kind of you. All right, well, hey, hey, tell you what, I would love to hear about all your adventures. I will come outside to you, okay? So can you keep my office door closed? I love you. Awesome. This is Bob. <laughs> Bob <laughs> is also a shot from Cactus 11. Um, love the animation on his face here. Um, I don't know why, but I never explored the opportunity in a, in a striker to grab Bob and throw him because there is a passive that allows you to do that. Um, I don't know if this is, I mean, is this kind? Is this, is this gentle? I'm not sure, Cactus 11, what your intentions are here. Um, I'm start, I'm a little concerned for Bob um, in, in some ways, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll just see what happens next, I suppose, uh, or, or not. Maybe, maybe we shouldn't. Uh, what's the next question we have, Gary? <laughs> We've got one from uh, I am Law Forty Two again on Twitch. Uh, if you had to name the two most memorable lessons you learned from making Everspace Two, what are they? Most positive and most negative. <laughs> Not that I'm putting you on the spot there. <laughs> that is a beautiful question. Um, I would say that something that you know I'm, I'm going to answer this a little bit quicker than probably what I would normally do because I can ramble for a long time. But the short of it is that through my own growth in our development of both Everspace 1 and Everspace 2, I have learned so much on the development side of actionable items. It is so easy to get lost in these beautiful, creative ideas that can go in all these different directions because that is, that is something that um, I actually do a lot of. Like I love just making ideas uh, and analyzing them and, and seeing all the pieces come together, blah, blah, blah. Um, but uh, as a whole, when you're making a large game on a deadline, you can't do all the ideas. Instead, you have to refine, you have to trim, you have to embrace what is working and say goodbye to things that you like. And that is hard. That is really hard at times. And it's something that I'm getting better at, still working on it, fully admitting. Um, but uh, yeah, that process of elimination, um, it's focusing on actionability is what I'll just describe it as. Um, that's probably been my biggest growth point. Um, I already forgot the second part. Uh, that was That's something that's been a struggle that I'm working through and, and have learned so much um, on account of having just a wonderful team. Um, I would say like the best thing, uh, gosh, I've got, <laughs> this is probably, gonna, this is gonna sound maybe a little pretentious, I'm not sure, but dang guys, I got some good ideas. Like <laughs> I am, I am very glad that I work with a team that does a lot of consideration and analysis for moving things forward um and we all work together to bring the game to fruition and you know um it just it just feels good when you get a good idea and it satisfies the vision and it just brings it together and it just you know clicks into place gosh it's so good um those are kind of like the i guess that's kind of the high and the low i don't even know if i answer the question fully but uh, let's move on let's let's keep going <laughs> Let's keep going. I mean, our team, like our team, has so many expansive stories that they could share in, in all these different directions. This uh, shot comes from Wizard Jerry, by the way. Wizard Jerry, the absolute wizard himself, the legend, the uh, Lunacy One Thousand uh, champion of all time, forever, and his just showing off his super clean shots. Look at that ship. That is, gosh, man. That is, that is a clean looking ship. Love the color choices too. Love how you've got just enough variation in the colors to make things pop. That's good. That's really good. So next question, please. Right, switching back to YouTube. Uh, we've got 19 White Moon 87 asking, bit of a mind bending question for you. If you could merge two ships together, which ones would it be? Mm, that's a really hard question. I'm not really sure if I can answer that. Stinger and Vanguard. I don't think I can answer that. Stinger and Vanguard. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I just, I want more speed and more firepower. That's what I want. So it's like, give me, like, I want the Vanguard speed and now give me the added firepower and devices. Oh my gosh, that, that ship is just, you can't touch it. You couldn't touch it. You couldn't touch it at all. Straight up. Done. That's how I do. Yep. Next question. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, sticking with YouTube, uh, we've got the aforementioned Wizard Jerry. Uh, just wanted to know how many wing types we will have in the free DLC for the light and heavy ships. Ooh, 
that would be telling. <laughs> we do want to add more. Um, we want to add more ship parts just in general. So I mean, that's that's going to be something that we'll give you more news on in the future. Because um, like, yeah, right now th there's there's a number of processes that go on behind the scenes, and yeah, we'll, we'll give you more information when there's information to get. So I'm glad that you're excited for more ships, uh, ship parts. Excuse me. That was not a slip of the tongue, just being very clear here. I'm glad you're excited for more ship modules. Um, uh, it's definitely something we want to add more diversity to all of the different ships. Um, as most of you know, um, the medium ship weights, uh, they all have way more options of customization than the lights and the heavies. And we do want to bring that up to speed to where they all have equal customization opportunities. That would mean a lot of additions. It's hard to know how much we're actually going to make, which is why I'm saying you know, it's it's certainly something we'll we'll find out together. So when we have more information to share on that front, we'll let you know. Super duper simple. This shot comes from Ryan, who also found a, a particular bug that had been reported some time ago, um, but we finally uh, got to the bottom of it. Um, so thanks for that, Ryan, if you are in the chat. Uh, but he had this shot that says no loot here and then there was loot oh my gosh i can't believe it i would never expect pirates to be liars I can't, that's just ridiculous oh my goodness for shame i wonder how their mothers feel um but yeah just a nice nice little clean conclusion to the uh screenshots we got now how many more questions do we have uh gary we got about five uh, minutes left here Currently got one lined up, but something that I'm thinking you might want to just jump in on now uh, is regarding the console's uh, release date, because we've had a couple of people asking about oh. that. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll have more information on the consoles when we have more information to share. I mean, that sounds... That's like a circular definition, and I'm sorry for that, but at the same time, like, that's just where we're at. Uh, we are, we have been hard at work on a number of elements with Aerospace 2 because we want to give you the goods. We want to give you the goods and we're going to do it in the best way possible. So just be patient. Just wait it out. We will let you know. All right. We, we do have know. an update on that um, oh, sure. with regards because <clears throat> um, we are going to be showcased in the oh, Idea Xbox event. Yeah. Idea, Idea Xbox. Yeah, that's right. Um, Actually, I don't have any of that information pulled up right now, and it might be sticky business since i am got this uh, on my screen. If you could pull up those dates, that would be awesome. It's uh, the 11th of July. Perfect. So the 11th of July, stay tuned. We'll have uh, maybe something to share then. Mm. Cool. Definitely appreciate that looping, Gary. Thank you. No worries. All right. And is that the last question? Uh, the last one is from Steiny Goat. No oh, okay. care. Over on Twitch. I think this is uh, his shot, maybe? Stainy? Yes, yes, Just, I believe okay, so, yeah. Cool, cool. Awesome. Uh, <clears throat> is there a thing in the game that was a bug but turned into a feature during oh, development? Oh, man. That's a, that's an incredibly great question for someone else. Uh, <laughs> um, I think Hans Christian might be able to answer that, maybe even Marco or Andy. Um, because I can, I can soundly say that there was. At some point, there had to have been. Um, but for the most part, when we are when we have bugs, it's they're not working because we had a good idea, and so it's not necessarily making that idea better. Um, it's normally where we have to adjust and, and figure out. It's usually pretty rare whenever you have a bug and it's like, actually, this is this is better. This is the direction we need to take. Um, and uh, but yeah, I haven't necessarily seen that firsthand myself. But uh, yeah, it, again, it would probably be a good question for some of our. Uh, team members i might uh i might poke them and, and follow up on that one maybe in the discord because that's a fun question so good stuff all right well guys i really do appreciate uh your time in the streams i will go back in game and i'll give you a little bit more i'll give you a little bit more i know you're all just like wait what what's he talking about mm, all right okay hold your horses hold your horses we're almost there Oh my gosh. But guys, let me tell you what, I um, I have been having some incredibly healthy discussions. Like we've been just making really great progress all around. Sincerely, I cannot stress that enough. I cannot stress that enough, guys. It is ridiculous um, how much progress has been uh, getting made behind the scenes. And you know, I told you a couple of weeks ago that uh, 
we truly have been eager to just show some things off. Um, and, and, you know, I, I docked here, I went into the storage and I plugged some stuff in and just, yeah, I just want this to be just one little serving so that you guys know, um, we are working on a variety of things that are going to shape up play styles. We're going to do it to where you're going to have new opportunities, right? We don't want to just keep doing the same old thing. We want there to be growth in your play sessions. We want there to be some fun exploration. And I can just straight up tell you that you can absolutely expect to see a bit more very soon. And that's all on that front. That's all on that front. So that's all you get. That's all you get. It's done. Just a light little teaser. I know I'm cruel, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. But um, I digress. Guys, seriously, you have been incredible in the stream today. We've had some really good questions. We had some really good retention. Lots of folks sneaking in here. Um, I see a couple, couple new people actually. <laughs> Wait, what? What's going on? Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, I mean, sh share the little snippets if you want around. Okay, it's, it's totally fine. But uh, yeah, we uh, we are starting to have some things to show, and uh, don't miss next stream. Don't stop being awesome either, and I won't stop being Eric Schrader, your community ambassador. Gary, did you have any final words, any thoughts that you wanted to share too with this, these lovely chaps out here? Well. What can you say? We've got the best community out there, haven't we? We really have. They've put so much effort into those screenshots. And come on up, YouTube, you need to up your game with those Sorry. questions. Twitch, we're beating you this week. I'm yeah. going to start keeping tabs. I'm going to start was, keeping tabs. I was me. about to say, like you were saying, we have the best community. I was looking at YouTube and going, eh. <laughs> 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 oh my God. We love uh, you all. We love you all. Yeah, you guys are seriously great. So uh, don't change whatsoever. And I do hope that you all... Uh, Stay with us as we continue to develop some more fun stuff. Um, and we'll chat next week. All right. A little bit different of an ending, but I'm just going to go with toodles. Reminder, there's a Steam sale. Right the heck now. You can go to the Everspace 2 and Everspace 1 storefronts and find some discounts that might be pleasing to your wallet. <clears throat> and now for shenanigans. Oh, <laughs> my
Have a wonderful weekend. Take care.